Hello, everybody, and welcome to Abby Plays. Welcome. Uh, give us a yop in chat if you can see and hear us, just so we know that you guys uh, are in fact there and can can see and hear what we're what we're doing. Yop it um, up. Good. Uh, Abby, I have been looking forward to this one since we mentioned it. Mm -hmm. uh, I spent a lot of time playing Hades. Um, you have never played Hades. Never. Uh, I don't even know if you've ever played a game like Hades. I don't know either, because <laughs> I don't know what this game is like. So, so let's uh, not waste any time and jump right in. Yes. Uh, go ahead and, and hit play, and let's uh, let's get this ball rolling. Okay. Play. All right. Empty slot, yes. Uh, we're not gonna choose hell mode. I don't know what that is, no. but <laughs> that that very, sounds like very hard. something we would not do. New tales are told of Hades, whose very name inspires fear and penitence, Ooh. reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. Ooh. I, however, need to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. I'm listening. And we're off. All right. Goodbye, father. Okay. Tartarus. Yep. Hades oh. is great about just dropping you into the game and doing the thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm definitely dropped in the game right now. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Nope. Oh, yep. Right. Found the dash. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 oh. Proceed. Yeah, okay. All right, so uh, I think there's a narrative thing that happens. Go ahead and run. Keep Just keep running forward. I'm leaving. Sorry, I'm stuck here. I don't know who you are, but I'm just going to. You look like something I should attack. Good call. Nice. They don't even tell you what to do. Nope. It's just like, hey, here's a thing that's probably going to attack you. I mean, there's there's a certain level of, hmm, I think I know what's about to happen here. That they're relying on. Do I just keep fighting these things or am I supposed to go all the way to the end? You will keep fighting them. Okay. You'll, you'll keep, keep fighting them. You'll know something will happen when ah, you're done. Okay. You're nothing. Uh, okay. Uh, except. If it's got to be her. Then here goes nothing. <clears throat> In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hail, noble cousin. Athena. Let's get you from that miserable place. I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. Beginning here with me. Boom. So. Oh, they're gonna make me choose stuff. Yep. I will give you a recommendation. Uh, the dash, Athena's dash ability is very, very good. Because you spend a lot of time dashing to evade um, attacks. Oh, okay. And if you dash if you dash through an attack, it will deflect the damage back to the attacker. Ooh, all right. Um, so I'll, I'll, have I'll, to... I'll give you that recommendation. Have to learn how to to teach myself to dash more. Timing. Yep. It's it. Because right now I'm just at the uh, swing my sword around sword, stage. Do, yeah. Take sword, do hitty. Mm-hmm. That. Um. Moonix is in our Twitch chat. Good to see you. Howdy. Uh, I started to um, say hey, and it turned into howdy. So that was a very Interesting, howdy. That, that was a that was a journey. <laughs> okay. Let's fight. Probably okay. So oh oh oh. Uh. uh so you see what oh, happened there with oh, the, the oh. purple sphere? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Yeah, that's why it's good. Oh. Nicely done. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing it. <laughs> oh, oh. And like. I mean, you're not doing a bad job of it. I'll give you that, actually, honestly. I, I expect A to be 
attack, but it's not, so it's dash. Right. So that's how I'm remembering to dash because I think it's supposed to be attack. Uh, yes. Ooh, um, there's creepy people Moonex up there. There are creepy people everywhere in this game. Uh, uh, Moonix is says uh, that he's that they've never played Hades, never played Hades myself. Uh, but watch some some world record speed runs. Can Abby beat them? <laughs> I think I may have seen the speed run you're talking about. Um, or I've, I've at least seen one record speed run. Um, oh, ow. it was rough. All right. I, I think Abby can. Uh, I don't know if she can do it on her first go, though. I was. Oh, oh, all right. Sure. All right. OK, OK. <laughs> um, you found the bombs. Oh, that was a bomb. Yeah. All right. You'll you'll notice that these uh these levels so, are filled age old with question. Crack. My health is low. Yep. What can I do yep. about that? Um. Uh, there are some options. Uh, you will find them eventually. It okay. does not regenerate automatically. I'll tell you that. Um. I can't heal myself, but I can fight. There you go. <laughs> All right. Okay. He, he, so you. just keep on keep keeping going. on. All right. Yep. What I keep trying to say is I've played Minecraft Dungeons, which uh, is like probably the closest game that I've played yes. to this. Um, it is the same gameplay, like, actually, is, is Minecraft Dungeons a roguelike? Hang on. Uh, I don't Google know that. what a roguelike is, so I can't. I will oh. I will explain it. There we go. You're okay, about to learn okay. what a roguelike is. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's just a dungeon crawler. So it's the same. A roguelike is a similar concept. Well, actually. Let you sort of figure out what's going on. I'm home. Welcome home. Anyone don't mind me. Don't mind me. Yep. So, welcome back to Hades. You can talk to people. Welcome to the house of Hades, right? Wait, I know you. Guess that means you died out there, huh? Well, don't be sad though. Pretty much everybody dies sometime. Okay. Thanks for not being helpful. Most more than yes. Go ahead and run up and talk to Hades up at the counter. Hades, oh, our namesake. Yes. Uh, oh, that's not talk. Uh, uh. That's dash. <laughs> you can come around the side. All right, all right, okay. Wow, it's Hades. Gets out of here, whether alive or dead. So how was your wanton ransacking of my domain? Greetings, father. My ransacking was a delight. Thank you for asking. So I'll just be on my way again. Um, way indeed. What do I care? You shall never reach the surface. Go see for yourself. So this this kid wants to get out of Yep. Hades. Um uh, yeah. rebellious phase here. It's like I'm leaving yep. home. But the dad's like, hey, Pretty good much. luck. Such setbacks are inevitable and may be overcome with effort and with time. Uh, Bushido, I see your comment. I will get to it as soon as she finishes talking with Nyx. I believe it, Nyx. I'm grateful that you put us into contact. I know you took a considerable risk in reaching out. But the risk is not to me. I expected the Olympians would involve themselves in this eventually. Reveal to them no more than they already know. Are we understood? Yes, we are. Okay. I do not understand. So before you go through, before you go through that door, which mm -hmm. is the like, glowing, I should probably go this way. Yes. Uh, run back over towards Hades. Okay. Uh, and run up to the Cerberus. Cerberus. Uh, hit the L hit the left trigger. There's a good boy. Eee. The most adorable hellhound ever. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. Thank you for reminding me of that, Bushido. Bushido was reminding to pet the pup. Um, so yes, this is this is Hades. Um, Hades is a game game type called a roguelike. 
So a roguelike is a well uh you can keep talking I'll, I'll I'm just explain, explain this and then you can go talk to yeah yeah uh, a roguelike is a game type where um you essentially go on runs and your goal is to get through um uh the goal is to get through to the end of whatever like randomly generated map you're playing uh, so in a roguelike the map is is always like some semi random uh, in terms of what map you get, where you're going, mm. what rooms follow what rooms. Um, the game gets increasingly harder as you go on, but every time you you pick up skills or items throughout the run that help you in the run. Uh, and your goal is to get to the end of the game, like to get to the end of the run. And okay. if you die, you start over, you start the run again, no items, nothing. Most game, Most of them will have some sort of like leveling up system where you can unlock abilities uh that sort of persist from run to run but that's the general gist of the game is just keep going and hades was a perfect uh like setting for that because you have this idea of the son of hades trying to fight his way out of hell over and over and dying over and over Mm. and over again yeah um and they did a really good job with the with a game type that usually doesn't have a incredibly strong narrative um they really did a great job creating a game that at the end of it and anyone who's finished it can can attest to this i will not say much for spoilers has a phenomenal narrative to the game nice uh and a game type that doesn't normally have a good narrative um go ahead and talk to achilles and then we will start our next run uh moonix is in chat saying that he needs the cerberus as a uh strange clan egg drop <laughs> I'll mention that to Lex. Okay. I don't know what Achilles said, but he said something. He was basically encouraging you. Um, he he Achilles is the one who trained uh, Zagreus. Oh, it's our room! Yep. Messy as you would expect it to be. Messy, but uh, run with that also mirror? pretty. Oh, wait, run the up mirror, to that uh, mirror, big mirror. Mirror, mirror. mirror. Uh, we can see. Hit reflect. Um, what? So, uh, okay. these are your abilities that persist from uh, run to run. So, okay. as you gain that uh, the purple stuff, which is the darkness, you can use it to level up these abilities that will help you, will get you stronger and stronger as you run, as you go throughout the game. Powering up your um, character. Yep, essentially. Uh, and those will persist from run to run, so it'll make it easier in later runs to play through. Um, so yeah, cool. my recommendation would be to start with health. Um, mm-hmm. Putting a bu- putting 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 uh, you know resources into any of these will help you, but I would I recommend starting with health because that just makes your runs last yes. a little bit longer as you're like as health. you're getting used to the um, as you're getting used to the controls. Awesome. Rest. And go ahead and run to the next room. Okay. Boom. Ooh. Oh. So there are a bunch of different weapons you can unlock. I need to track down um, you use keys, uh, like the one you got in the last run to unlock them. If you want, you can unlock the bow right now um, because you have one key to unlock that. What or bow? you can keep using the sword. Oh, either this way. bow. Oh, a bow on the very end there. Gotcha. Um, I'll stay with the sword for now. We're learning All that. All right, sticking with the sword. I can do this. Yes, you can. Figure something out. I can escape from the courtyard. Um, the art style in this game is just amazing. Yeah, um, I really like that. Super giant. All of Super Giants games have a really, really solid art style. Thunder. Is this really him? I wonder who that could be. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. <laughs> Greetings there, young man. Still excited with your father's always been rather difficult, and he's okay. called in quite some time. Go have a better home where you belong, here on Olympus. And to help you on your journey, have, have my, my blessing. blessing. Thanks. Ooh. I love how, I love how 
somewhat pompous Zeus's um, dialogue uh, sounds. It makes sense. Okay. Uh, attack, lightning strike, uh, electric shock. Your cast is a burst of chain lightning. Oh, that bounces between foes. That's nice. What are the numbers? Oh, lightning damage cast. Uh, that's how okay, much okay. damage they're doing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Press Y. Um, special causes a lightning to strike nearby foes. B. Pretty much all of these are actually pretty good. Okay. Well, this one sounds fun. It's an yep. AOE or so. Uncle Zeus lending his support. Yeah. Um, so go ahead and hit Y real quick, just so you can kind of see. Think of Y as like a heavy attack or a like it's not the thing that you do all the time, but it, it has its uses. Um, the Y on the sword is really, really good when you're surrounded. Ooh. And uh, I still it have all my health. You. Which is a great way to start. Composed of such a need. Good thing I'm not dead. Something. Um, th there are some really, really great moments in this game when the um, uh, when the narrator. No. Um, oh shoot. <laughs> Every time. Uh, when the narrator and the and Zagreus interact. Um. Okay. Some really, really funny dialogue. Okay. You go digging for it. Nice. Just button mashing, uh, attack and, uh, what's the other one? Dash. Dash, yeah. Or the, yeah. Yep. Oh. What it's, do I still need to get? Oh. There's oh you gotta you gotta pick up the reward. Yay! Okay. And now you can go to the next room. All right, we're getting the hang of this here. Awesome. Huh, huh. Yep. Ow. All of all of the Forget damage the hang on of this me immediately takes damage. All the damage on me so far is just like self-imposed, self-inflicted. It happens. I huh. I have done. Ding. Uh, That'll keep me going. Ooh, it way, gave me more life. Probably over. Yes. Uh, I've probably done over a hundred runs in this game, um, and I still land on those traps. All right. All right. Oh. Oh. Ha. 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 Uh. B. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Nice. It's all button matching. Yeah, pretty much. It's just very, very, like, carefully timed button mashing. Yeah. This is my kind of game. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All yep. Right. Let's get a, a good, it's a good also... flow here. Yes. The game is also ridiculously addictive in terms of the gameplay oh. loop. Because you're always just like, oh, I can, I'll, I'll just do one more run. I'll just do one more <laughs> run. And then you like, you either have a bad start or the run ends ends too quickly. Or you get further than you have ever gotten in a run before. You're like, I can just do one more. I can just do one more. And then before you know it, four hours have gone by. Um, and all of the things that you needed to do as an adult, you didn't do. Yo, I feel that. And I'm not at all talking ooh, from ooh. experience. Oh, you can run out of magic? Uh, no. So when you use the cast, it sends that little diamond, that floating diamond. Um, when when the you finish this guy, I will show you kind of how it works. Oh. Um, ooh, that hurt. Yeah. I need to be more careful with my button mashing. Yep. So go ahead and pick up the uh, money. Cool. And then uh, s hit B to, to, to do the cast. Now run over. You see the little diamond? Ah. That's the cast. So essentially think of it like like a dagger uh, that you have, and you throw the dagger to hit And then someone. you have to go get it back. I have to go pick it up. Okay. Uh, now, if you hit someone with, with most, in most cases, 
when you hit someone with your cast, it'll stick in them for a little while. And you can there are features where you can get additional damage if your cast is in an enemy. Huh. Um so but we'll we'll unlock those as we go. Cool. Um but that, that was a mechanic that, that took me a while to get used to. Oh, um, I don't like these floaty skulls. This reminds me of Doom too. A little bit. I'm gonna recommend that you yeah. Target the pile of skulls. Hades is also really, really good at incrementally and in introducing uh, like new enemies and new concepts and new um, characters. Oh. Uh, it really unfolds Ow. quite naturally as a game. Uh, Bushido Brown uh, was said that's oh. uh, that's when I say there's always tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, responding to me spending four, like talking about losing losing track of time playing yep, this yep. game. There's always tomorrow. I feel that Bushido. Yo, but the the this this lighting though, changing when everyone threw mm -hmm. it. Yep. Nice detail. Yeah. The first uh, the first super giant first game from this developer Ugh. that I played was Trans oh, Transistor. Gosh. Dang it! Very bad indeed. We get it. Uh, I just keep hurting myself. Okay, okay. I need to pay attention to Welcome what. Welcome to the frustration. <laughs> I need to pay attention to where you're going. Yeah. To, and not just dash everywhere, because that's what I've been doing. Yep. It's good for hurting enemies, but also good for hurting me. So. Yes. Ow! 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 Don't do this to me! Oh, oh, I'm not so hot. Not so oh. good. Oh, 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 oh. Will she make it? Will she make oh, it? Oh, oh. Oh, uh. oh. Yo. Oh my gosh. Yo. <laughs> and they gave me help. That was, okay. So, you will occasionally get a choice of which direction to go. Um, go go back that direction. Oh, um, oh, so I see. You get to pick pick between two doors on this one. Well, this um, one gives me a key. Skull. What's that? I'll go to that one just so you can you can discover what it is. Um, Bushido Br uh, Brown is uh played played Transistor and says uh, I love Transistor. It was such a good game. It really was. Uh, it was it was a lot of fun. Just keep uh, plugging forward. See what's, so, see what's here. Wait, what, what did it give me? Well, you'll find out. Oh, oh. Okay. Go and explore the room. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, 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 it's like a vendor thing. Yep. Specifically, Karen the Boatman. Oh! Yep. And so you can buy. Power yep. up. So the pomegranates. You can buy. Uh, you can buy boons, and you can also typically you'll, you'll be able to buy like health or darkness or. What's a boon? Uh, keys. Boons are the like the things that you've been picking up from the gods. So like the lightning thing, the thing that you have, oh, the dash oh, okay. thing you got. Those are boons, and you get more and more of those as you play. Okay. Go ahead and pick up the pomegranate just so we learn what that does. Yeah. Because you have enough money to pay for that. Boom. Okay, so it makes it stronger. One of the boons that I yeah. have. So it gets right. So it lets you pick. It will randomly pick from three three boons that you have and lets you level it up to get to be more powerful. Cool. Um, while we're here, maybe go ahead and buy that bit of darkness. Um, so that we can level you up more when cool. you uh when you, when you die on this round. Okay. Um, <laughs> Hades. Hades does such a really <gasps> fun job There's the of integrating. Boat. Exactly. Uh, of integrating Greek mythology and the, the different characters. Um, don't want to spoil... I don't want to spoil who all shows up. Um, but there there are a lot of... A lot of characters. Um, I'll spoil a couple because they're they're not, like, narratively important. Um, and you, you can head on to the next room whenever you're ready. Oh. <laughs> um, cool. 
Okay. Nice, nice, nice. All right, all right. I'm low. Here we go. Ah, uh, ow. Okay, okay, okay. Be careful, be careful. They're looking for me. Huh. Yep. I did it. Uh, Not doing too bad. Uh, uh. Um. Oh. <laughs> For it. Close, close. Oh. Man, this is tense. It's it's always you always oh, play. Oh, the, oh, I oh, find in this game oh, that I always oh, 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 weirdly oh, play my best oh, when I'm at the oh, lowest oh, oh, percentages of health. Oh, 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 that oh, guy is like, why oh. is he like full of freaking health here? So you see the skull next to his his health bar? Yes. There are elite enemies that you will encounter, that are like nor ver like your normal enemies, but they have a shield you have to break through before you start dealing damage to their health. Um, and you'll encounter more of those the further into the game, like the further ah. into the run you get. Oh, there's still more. Oh, 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 oh. I guess that's oh. the game. It oh. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> you are on the ring. <laughs> oh. 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 That was that was that was a really, really good run, uh, for like your second run <sighs> having never played a game quite like this before. Um Yeah. That was that was good. Feel like and we're back. Yep. Um. Wait, what'd you say? What, what was that? That might have been a helpful. Wretched Lout killed you. Oh it's, well. He was talking about who killed you. So like, um. Okay, you're just Mister Encouraging. Okay. Yep. There are there are actually like uh storylines that develop with all these people you're talking to. Um, so like that's what the exclamation point is that there's new like new storyline happening. Okay, how about dad? Next, I swear it. Um, oh, there's a new thing here. Yep, there's a new thing to do. Contractor, does it have a little hard hat on? It does. It's a couple, it's a oh, three ghosts it. with little hard hats on. Oh my gosh. Once we are finished with repairs for all the carnage you have sown throughout my realm, then we might finally have time for all the needed renovations that have piled up. That is all blinged up here. Yeah, oh, he's. he's oh, really renovate. <laughs> yep. See, but if I'm trying to leave Hades. Some of the things that you like the work orders particular especially um will usually give you things that that show up in your run. Ooh, restore um, some health amid the gloom. What's the gloom? Yep. The the gloom being a metaphor for the fight that the run that you're doing. So okay, okay. the fountain chamber adds a new chamber into your runs. You will occasionally run across that where that chamber sounds like an excellent idea. Oh fabulous. Where there's no enemies, but rather you get to restore a portion of your health. I dig it. Um, and then there are there are certain like renovations that you do for characters in the game, uh, as you start like talking with the characters. Cool. Um, so let's reflect. Ooh, I got some stuff yep. to spend. Okay. Um, I want more health. Actually, I would go down real oh, quick. Oh wait, and what's look at death, death defines? Define. Restores. Oh, instead of dying when your life total is depleted yep oh one once per rank cool all right yeah so the first one that's that's one of the earliest ones to get is it just gives you you can die once and then you restore to 50 percent of your current health like maximum health and it just lets you extend your run a little bit yeah 
Uh, I'll get some damage when I backstab. Yeah. yeah, why not? All right. What does resting do? Does it do anything? Um, hit it and see. I don't know if it does anything right now. Not even tired. Thanks. Okay, okay fine. So Examining. There, there are some narrative moments where that's that's um that's relevant. Okay. Um. <sighs> okay. Um. Go look real quick at uh your sword. I'm trying to remember. I don't think you can go up to your sword. Where? Oh, you can't do anything with that yet. Okay, never mind. Okay. Just keep just keep running. All right. Run out the door and try again. That's not the way. Okay. Purple. The way out. Purple's There's, the way. Yep. Purple is magic. Mm -hmm. Um. And welcome to the eternal loop of Hades slash Arogla. Ooh. Ooh, this is fun. Okay. So That's, the deadless what's... hammer gives you an up. Oh, okay, so uh, my special is the mm -hmm. Y. That's the hammer yeah. down thing. Um, wave that pierces. That, so that makes it where your sword strike has a, a ranged element to it. Mm -hmm. And then flurry slash is the... Uh, uh, I like this one. I don't want to hit the button. I'm just going to stand here and yeah. slice. No, I button mash I would, anyway, I would do the piercing so... wave. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep. Um, good. Boom. Boom. So the oh. game will... Yep. Uh, drop throughout the course of a full run through out of Hades. Uh, you can get up to two Daedalus hammers. One here and one in a later section of the game. Um, and Ooh, they will always upgrade whatever current we? weapon you have. Oh. 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 Yep. Oh. Nicely done. Yo, give me my gem back. Oh. 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 Yeah, you can't. You can dash dash across um, water like that, and open spaces. Hey! Nice. Ooh, what's and this onward. one? Um, so it usually you will usually get to see what reward the next chamber will see. Ah. Um, and so if you see a symbol, it means if you Ow. see a symbol for one of the gods, it means you're going to get a boon from that particular god in the next chamber. Boom. Yes, I will accept you. Good run so far. Okay. Uh, boons of Zeus. Okay. Lightning strike. Uh, chain lightning. So that'll just power up the one that I have. Uh, n lightning strike would replace the one that you have. No, sorry. You you got a, a Daedalus hammer. Yes, that would power up the one that you have. The the uh lightning strike would will will give you the attack. You don't have any boons right now because every time you die, your oh, boons are reset. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this is the one that I was doing before that I like. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe. No, no. No, you, the, that one's not available actually right now. The the, the cast oh, one. Oh, okay. Um, but all of these are good um, for, for early, early runs. Okay. Um, Lightning, bolt, I mean, I'm dashing a lot. Yeah, that's both damage. Dashes or dash one dash modifications are usually really good. Okay, sure. Usually, there's a couple that are that are meh. We'll try that. Yep. Okay, and it shows the boons uh, on the side. That's, yeah, so okay, it shows. Okay. Keeps track. Of the them. four on the side is for your main attack, your special attack, your cast, and your dash. Do I have and a then, cast right now? Oh yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, you. It's just your normal cast right now. Okay. Uh, the the boon will modify your cast for something. Whoa. Um. Um. You will also eventually unlock um more passive uh boons, 
that won't show up there, but will show up if you uh, hit ah. the select button on the menu button on your on your controller. Um, nice. Sure, <laughs> it's me. Another another Zeus. Uh, Oh, Boom. Gosh. Right. Try these fools. Ow, ow, that hurt. Ow. Oh, these people hurt me. Yep. Oh, they're two Elites, bosses. Man. That's why. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yep. oh, owie. Huh, Elites huh, hurt. Huh. Okay. I think there's another. There's yep. some more guys over there. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Phew. Nice job. That was that was a tight one. Ooh, rare. Jolten. Uh, I would get that. Victims next attack that. self inflicts lightning damage that harms yep. nearby foes. Sounds good to me. Boom. Eighty two damage. Nice. Okay. Nice. Cool. Um, run over to this uh the, that purple fountain. I'm pointing at my screen like that's helping <laughs> you. <laughs> Ooh, a shop. Let's see what's in here. Uh, so you can purchase items using your coins. Uh, oh, most of them. Points. Yeah, most of them will only last for a set number of rooms in the dungeon. Mm. Um, I'll tell you, I didn't spend much money or time on these because I would rather. I personally was rather like was saving up for whenever a. Uh, Karen's shop rolled around because you could get boons or pomegranates from those. Okay. Um, but occasionally in a pinch, these are helpful. I might actually recommend getting the Hydra Light. Yeah. Because you're so low on health. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Because that, that will help you Soul. restore a little health on this run. Woo. Yeah. But Ooh, now you, you can kind of start to see. Oh, yeah, those things. They're fun. Um, oh, boss guys. So oh, no. Oh, yep. no. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. now you discover why they suck. They're um, like the uh, robots in Portal. Nice. Yep, pretty much. Um, so you can kind of start to see how, like, the boons start building on each other. Oh, gosh. Oh. Um, Oh, I'm awake. Oh, I should have made another. Oh, should have made another oh, cup of coffee oh, today. Oh 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 So much chaos. <laughs> oh oh one percent. And one health here. Oh my gosh. All right, check your check your options ooh, to ooh, see which ooh, one. A shop, a shop, yeah, right? Take, right. Take yeah, go to the shop, see if you can okay, buy it, then uh, you can buy help. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Um, is anyone? I don't know about you guys, but chat. I have been having the most Monday, uh, Monday, ever. I have been so sleepy all day for no reason. Like I slept fine last night, but for some reason today, I have been so sleepy. Um. This gives me health, right? Uh, that yeah, that increases your maximum health. Uh, uh, and then the other one, go, go see what the other one does. We'll we'll give you twenty health. I would take the the one twenty five, because that increases your max and gives you twenty five health. Ah, okay, okay. Um, yeah. So, Moonix, I feel you. Yeah, it's just it's just such a Monday today. I don't know why. Um. So weird, but it's almost over. So that's that's good, and I get to spend the, the last, uh, the last half of uh, the day, um, playing uh or watching, play watching Abby play uh, um, play Hades. Yep. Ooh, ooh, you're throwing stuff at me. Why? I don't like that. Oh, those things. Yeah. Oh, little, they're planting little, little lambs. Are you serious? Oh, oh, yeah, uh, they're annoying. Uh, 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 uh. 
And strangely, not the most annoying enemies you will ever you will encounter in this game. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, we're doing all right. We're doing okay here. Okay, I see a health, and I see a pitchfork. Except this one has a little skull on it. Yes. What does that mean? It's up to you. I will. I will leave this. I will leave this choice. Uh to you. What does the skull mean? Uh, Did we go over that? <laughs> we have not gone over that. Okay. Uh, oh, the health you know how good. You know how the harder... You know how the harder enemies have skulls next to them? Yes. Well, maybe... Uh, maybe maybe we should go through just, just so you, just just so you to, experience Yeah, it. I was gonna say. Just... We just we, we we gotta give you the full experience. Uh, it is it is unlikely that we're gonna make it all the way through. Big a run. boss fight. Big boss fight. So, uh, weird. These are interesting. All right. Oh, ow, ow. Yep. Okay. Oh shoot. Still had that had that rule revive. Ow, ow, ow. Huh, 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 huh. There you go. Alright. Nice job. Level two. It's got to be. Then in the name of Hades. Oh Who's showing up this time? Recognize your uncle, do you not? There's a lot of catching up to do, but first things first. Did we win? Uh not yet, but we're getting there. Um, oh, oh, so here's the advantage of going into the chambers with the, mm. the, um, the bosses is typically the boons that you get have higher rarity. Okay. Um, All right. I don't remember. Did you take the, the, uh, did you take the dash lightning bolt or the attack lightning? Bolt? The dash. I would suggest the Tempest Strike. It is a very, very good uh, attack, especially because you can knock back into you can knock them back into traps for one, as well as if you knock people back into uh, walls, they take damage. So I recommend cool. Tempest. Strike. All right, all right, all right, cool. Um, <laughs> Steph FC is in YouTube asking if any specific specific functionality or gameplay functionality or inspirations. From Hades will be used in Strange Clan. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I know that we have. I vaguely remember us talking about some sort of like rogue light elements where they're that vaguely remember them talking about like somewhat randomly de generated dungeons. I don't know if that's a thing. So, hundred percent, do not quote me on any of this. Uh, I'm not in the game design meetings meetings, so I don't actually know uh everything um but i know that we're pulling from i know we're pulling from uh like the art style of bastion and sort of like that top down uh it's some it's a reference that we've used when talking about the strange clan prologue right which is a sort of 2d 2d thing that we're going to do before the full game launches to kind of give you guys something to play while we're building the the 3d game um i know we've referenced uh bastion which is another game from the same developer uh, when thinking about that, oh. um, Bushido is in is in chat saying "woot kick butt." Uh, yep, Thanks. she did, and we uh, we're charging ahead. I'm kicking uh, some butts then, here. Oh, they're all coming for me now. Then, My health is so low too. Yep. You might want to look and see if there's a, a skull pile that's that's spawning them. Oh, because usually oh. there's a there's a skull pile. Why am I dumb? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I All guarantee right. you, if this was reversed and we were playing, uh, I would have done. I would be doing the same thing. So, uh, oh, that's user a bomb. gerbil feces. No. Um, ah, ah. In fact, saying, "Did you win? What does it really mean to win?" It it can feel like that in this game ah, sometimes. Ah, um, ah, 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 ah. 
it can it can feel a little uh little edge of tomorrow live die repeat um Ooh, that's actually kind of useful the chimera jerky uh no the faithful twist oh, okay uh, um random item offered oh okay sure why not we're we're going for the full experience here oh and i got chimera jerky all right nice um what does it do um, i forgot sometimes you can get really good stuff off of that Ooh, uh, I, I think it increases your specialty. Yeah, so you get to level up one of your one of your stats. Uh, Becky is in YouTube saying, "Strange Clan is cool. I just find Abby so entertaining to watch." Uh, uh, I wait, agree. So, 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 how do I use my Chimera Jerky? What does it, it do? It just happens. Um, I, I believe it increases your special damage. I will. Okay. Ahead. Yes, I remember. It's a passive. Okay. Yes. Now I I yeah. remember where I am. most. Most of the stuff, most of the stuff you get from the Well of Charon is a, a, a like passive benefit that lasts for a number of uh, chambers in the in the run. Um, oh, I also looked up Chimera Jerky and apparently, <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. All right, that's fine. Oh, there we go. Had yeah. to happen eventually. Mm -hmm. Also, I just I googled Chimera Jerky without throwing in Hades, <laughs> um, and apparently, there's a beef jerky company called Mythical Meats that has a sampler pack of jerky flavors that include Basilisk, Chimera, Chupacabra, Dragon, Griffin, Kraken, <laughs> Loch Ness Monster, Pegasus, Phoenix, and Unicorn. Oh my gosh! Which I find hilarious. Um, <gasps> what happened Errol to is in chat. Uh, I don't know. Where did Cerberus go? Oh, um, uh, Errol uh, is in chat talking about inspired, inspired about how they made uh, the mechanism of dying and starting over uh, as connected to the story as possible. Also like the idea of dungeons having some randomly generated aspects. Um, what's this? Yeah, that's, what's that? Uh, Codex. Codex? So different ways, yep. The different ways that your uh, relationship develops with these characters. Um, we haven't run into any. Um, oh gosh, I don't even want to know what the meats are for mythical creatures. Uh, I think it was mostly beef, and then they like they had beef, and then like the flavors listed. Uh, I just found that very amusing. Um, I feel like I feel like that sampler pack is something that uh you would do like the random like you have to eat this uh like eat one of each on like live and respond to it live <laughs> sort of things. I feel like that could be entertaining for that. All right, Not reflection. saying that we will be doing that chat. <laughs> I would like um vitality. Please. Oh, and I always, can do always presents. a good. Yep. Okay. Can do one of each. Cool. One of these yeah, days, I'll it's, start it's, saving up. It else. looked like it was it was beef, mostly beef with like different seasonings. I thought I think I saw some chicken, um, in there. I can so, afford stuff now. What's yeah. This? What is this? What's this? What's this? So that is a spear. Um. Spear, shield, and. Uh, the bow and arrow are both are all available. Uh, I am a big fan of the bow personally. That's what I did most of my runs with. Uh, but it's a bit more um, like tactic tactical and how you have to play because you have to charge up the bow attack. <clears throat> yeah, I like fire. I like running into stuff and hitting it. Uh, so you might actually all three of those would be good. Um, the shield is a little hard to use. Uh, the shield relies more on its special than on its main attack, actually, because it's, mm. it's, spe it's special is a sort of dash mm. or a, a throwing of the shield. Um, the spear is really good as well. They're all like none of the weapons are objectively bad. They're all just different play styles. Okay. Uh, and you will definitely be getting enough keys to unlock all of them. So it's it's worth it to unlock, try, see what you think, and okay. then and we'll try. If oh! you hate it, play with a different thing. 
I wanted the oh, spear, no. man. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> So uh, hold down your special button and you'll you'll see what happens. Ah. So that's the special is you charge up a dash. A lot of a lot of how this thing is meant to operate is is using that. Why is it taking forever to just kill this thing? <laughs> because he's an NPC. I kinda want my sword back. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Nova Smash. Ooh. Wait for it. Wait for it. Does he respond yet? <gasps> Boop. Nice. Funny. Okay. Time to go. Yep. You just have a punching bag there to uh, test your weapons out on, essentially. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh, a divine arrow. And here we go. Hmm, I wonder who this could be. Hey. The power of the hunt helps keep me company, so maybe it'll help you too. The power of the hunt. All right. Cease foes. Just try. Um. All of these are are, are pretty good. Um. I'm dashing a lot. Yeah. Probably more than anything else. So Yeah. The dash and to do a dash strike you just you you dash and hit your hit X while dashing. And there's a special attack that you get to do. Um uh that's really fun. Uh Peter Lindstrom is in chat. Hi uh, Peter. Welcome. Good to, good to see you, Peter. Um uh, uh these graphics are lit. Yes. I love, 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 love the art style. Uh, oh. of, of super giant. Eh, eh. <laughs> nice. You guys are weird. You're just little little gemstones that make lasers and darkness. Yep. Pomegranate. And and. I'll tell you this again. Not the weirdest. Uh, not the weirdest enemy you will uh, you will encounter. Oh, I'm excited. Um. Hey, hey! Ooh, ah! Oh! 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 What is happening here? It's like a little turret gun coming out of. One of yep. these holes? What the heck? A palm of power. Oh yeah. It's a lot of fun. The palm of power. Delicious. Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh. Hey, right, cool. I really I I really, really love how well check check the other side, there's another oh. door. Oh. Oh, never mind. I it... always check and see if there's two doors. Um I oh. really, really love how they integrated Greek mythology into this game um, because it like it definitely resembles the mythology that we know, um, but then takes like fun creative liberties with it, mm -hmm. uh, which make for just a really entertaining world building. Uh, I don't know anything about this, but those pillars look pretty handy for dodging mechanics. They are. Yeah. Um, you can, in some cases, dodge through pillars. Um, uh, also, yeah, you actually just uh, did a really fun thing that's possible. Is um, it the, I got it to luring, shoot the enemy? Yeah. Cool. Yep. Oh, luring them it's onto the, their own traps. Okay, I, I thought these things were just shooting willy-nilly, but it... Oh. No, so it's... Shoots yeah. when you step on the thingy. Okay. Exactly. Shoots when you step on the, the pressure plates. Uh, so let's see. Where do What's, I what go? we got next? Okay, so there's a hammer. Nice. There's a hammer. It's just a hammer, I think. Okay. 
I think it's just the hammer on this one. Which that's I I always love love when when a hammer comes up I always go to the hammer because oh, the, the benefits people. you get from them are huge. Yep. This is this is a game that's really easy to just lose track of where you are and what you're doing in the game sometimes. Those are kind of some of my favorite games though, because I just get to yeah. flail around and hit things and Yep. Maybe it works. Well the thing is like you'll find and hey. I think you're already finding this, is that like it does not take long for you to build up like instinctual mechanics. Uh... I feel like this part is going to be the hardest part of the game. Yep, it's always. It always is. Thrust deals 200% damage and it's 40%. Hold it. Yep. I don't want to hold attack. Uh, I would. That's a pretty good one. Thrust. Um, every third attack is is a thrust attack with your sword. So in a okay. pattern of one, two, three, that third thrust deals t deals basically times two damage, or times three damage actually, uh, and um, has a forty percent chance to crit, and then deal okay. more damage. I like it. Ooh. Um, that's fun. Yeah, well, we'll do Might that. Might be useful considering you're low on health. Mm-hmm. I'm always... Yeah, like, you'll... Always low on health. Always. <clears throat> I, I spent entire runs below half health on this game. Um, but you'll find, like, really, really quickly that um, you build up, like, these sort of muscle memory mechanics that you just come to expect... Um, like you start doing things without thinking, um, and it it's it's fun because you can play, and you don't really have to pay that much attention to have a good time. Like if you're really trying hard to escape, you can um, you can like pay a lot of attention and be like really <laughs> invested in in the game, but also you can just be like, nah, sure. Yes. Um, Cast. Six foes. Eh? Eh? Uh, That's a good one. All of, I, I'm... Foos is back! Hey! Eh? Welcome, Foos! You're early today. Good to see you. Wow, yeah, you are. You're earlier than you usually show up. Good to see you. Um, Obviously, we're playing Hades. Uh, uh, yeah, Abby's never played Hades before. I don't, she's never played a roguelike before either, so this is... This is a, uh, a whole new experience for her. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that's a really good one, also. Um, oh because, yeah, I guess and, attack. And like, I'm using attack mostly anyway, so we'll go with that one. Yeah. All right. Okay. Right. So like, uh, Robbie Wolf hasn't played this game before. If highly recommend, at least if you can, especially if you have Xbox Game Pass, it is on Game Pass. At least it was last time I checked. They may have taken it off by now. Um, I don't remember. Um, but it's it's a lot of fun. Ooh! Hey, look at that. Paying off. Uh, Hades is pretty good. Yeah. So run up to the fountain. Oh, what? Uh oh, gotcha. Up the up the stairs. <gasps> yes. And boom. Thank you. Um, All right, I'll take it. Nice to see you guys back. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Hades Foos says Hades is pretty good and then corrected himself not pretty very I agree uh <laughs> not right. my game but I appreciate the art and dialogue yeah totally um let's try the boss room it's beautiful yeah All right. I am I am a sucker for uh for for a game with some really really good oh, art oh. um hey. Oh, it's one ah, of the reasons I ow, love Borderlands ow. so much is the art style is so unique on it. Ow. Oh. Oh. Ah, 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 ah. Nice. Not so great. Okay. Okay. That okay. was a crit. Oh. 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 oh, oh, oh. All right, you're good. All right. All right. Uh. Ow. These bombs suck. Yep. All right. Okay. Cell shading is a great art form. Yeah. It. It. It's 
great in video games. And the other thing that it re I really find that it does in video games is it really preserves the game to be playable way, way longer. Um, like, Borderlands 1 still holds up as a playable game, whereas, like, visually, it holds up as a playable game, whereas, um, like, older games, you look at it like, ah, this is a bit dated. Um, uh, Holy shield, picking, sounds uh, good. We're picking a boon. Have That's you also take damage, damage uh, flows yeah, around you, and viable. briefly defect. deflect. Yep. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Robbie says that they just finished the main uh, storyline of Borderlands 3 today. Woo! That's a uh, nice... I, I seem to remember seeing on your uh, on your Twitter, Foos, that you hadn't played a ton of Borderlands 3. Um, Ooh, this looks so scary. I, I'm, I'm interest, interested to hear your thoughts. Oh, this is fun. Uh, um, just survive. Okay, all right. This is all just right. survive. All right, okay. So... Dash, dash and move. Dash and move. Oh, oh, oh. There's a oh, timer oh, in the corner. Just stay oh, alive. Oh. Um, oh, I'm down to four percent health now. I okay. was. This this is a rough one to encounter for the like the first time because it's it's. Why am I new, going like, towards these things? No. Um, no. Yeah. No. 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 Thank you. Nope. Nope. <laughs> ah. Ah, straight, straight in. Uh, uh, oh, so you have, okay. Uh, played all the characters in max levels. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I, I have not played every character in Borderlands 3 to the max. I've played a couple. Um, I don't have any of the DLC yet. Um, I, I want to pick those up at some point. Um, but I just... I don't know. I like I haven't been able to justify buying two season passes right now, which is I'm a little bit bummed about. Um, but so far, uh, I I really enjoyed the gameplay loop of Borderlands Three. Like the the gameplay, the feel of the gameplay was really really good. Um, this the narrative was eh for me personally. But um, Peter Lindstrom is in our YouTube chat. Uh, good point. Artistic graphic styles become somewhat timeless. Uh, speaking. Uh, uh speaking of graphics you need to get your hands on hands dirty in disco elysium that is one that's on our list of list that we need to play uh i have not actually played disco elysium myself so that could be a fun one um yeah so, uh Fuz is talking about uh uh top um uh borderlands 3 one of the things that he's less a fan of is that all the top tier drops are locked within the DLC? Oh, um, which is it's, it kind of kind of bums you out a little bit. Um, upside is the base game. And I think are are we still talking about Borderlands Two or talking about Borderlands Three specifically? Foos. Eh, we'll see. Um, upside the base game has enough power, uh, but it bars from min maxing. Yeah. Um, both. <laughs> That's that is fair. Uh, most of the best games in in Borderlands 2 are in the uh, in the DLC. Ugh, this place. Um, awesome. Here we are again. Ready. All right, ready. <coughs> Crashing waves. Trident. Nice. Borderlands 3 is very heavy. Like Poseidon. Eight, yeah. Ooh. Ah, so they're oh. introducing a new mechanic. Paul. Oh. Uh, okay, so it's like a brief shield. It's like an ult. It's, yeah, it's like an ultimate ability that you get. Um, you can only have one call at a time. So right now mm -hmm. we have Poseidon's. So go ahead and just pick it up and then use it on the first guy you see, and you'll you'll kind of see what it does. Uh. Um. So you kind of see how did it. Did I use uh, it? Yeah, you charged for it and blew a guy up. Okay. Um, so if you look down in the, the bottom corner of your, your screen at your health mm -hmm. bar, there's a new bar below it. Oh, that's um, the call as bar? You, right. So as you do attacks, as you, I think sometimes even as you take damage, you start building up energy in that bar. Ah. Uh, and once you, for, for each notch in the bar, you get one use of your call ability. And if you fill it all the way up, you get like an ultimate version of it that lasts a lot longer and does more okay. damage. Okay, cool. Okay. So, a lot of fun. 
Let's go. Uh, uh, Moonix is in in chat. I hate season pass things. Yeah, I, I'm torn, especially with like Borderlands, because like the DLC for Borderlands was some of the best gameplay in the game. Like, I deeply love Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon's Keep, and I'm crazy excited for Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Um, but it does kind of as it really sucks when a game like yeah. is, has been out for a while and just doesn't feel really complete without four different DLCs and like all this other stuff. So, um, it's a bit bit of a bummer, like especially for people who buy the game right at the start and then a bunch of DLC comes out and then all gets bundled in with like the collector the game of the year edition or something. And then they're out extra money for all the DLC. But that's a that's a rambly uh, rambly sidetrack that has nothing to do with Hades. Uh, <laughs> what the? Oh. Can you do the thing in where where time stops in real life? Uh, so many great games to play. My back Munix, my backlog of games is so long. Mm. Um, it's it's ridiculous. Mm. Uh, Robbie Wolf is, uh, says, um, yeah, the Twitch is awesome. You can watch the games you can't uh, play when you can't. Uh, yep. Um, so Robbie Wolf says uh, that's the price to pay for earlier access. Yeah. Getting the game early and then having to buy all the DLC later. Uh, and it's the same with the price of the game. Like as the game price comes down over time. Uh, and then Foos is talking about. Uh, responding to Moonix about night high, like all the games that they want to play. Uh, that's why Twitch is awesome. You can watch the games you can't. Um, hey, come back <laughs> here. <coughs> Moonix is asking if I have a pile of shame. I think that's directed at me, but just in general, if you have a pile of shame, um, I have not played Final Fantasy VII, actually, is one of them. I um, haven't played any of them. <laughs> that's fair. Uh, I haven't played Final Fantasy VII. I haven't played any of the Dark Souls games. Um, oh, gosh. There's a bunch. Bro, why are you so hard to get to? Like, let me just... Um, <laughs> oh, no, Dark Souls. Don't start. <laughs> um, lots of response to Dark Souls. Uh <laughs> Peter, Peter's calling me out. Uh, if you play through Borderlands 3 multiple times with different characters, I question your backlog priority. <laughs> that is fair. That is that is fair. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, Foo says, uh, Robbie streams Dark Souls on my channel on Sundays, and he had a rough time with Gwyn last night. I have... Nice. Uh, uh, no. Uh, I just want to backstab you. Nice. Um, congratulations uh. on getting to Gwyn. That's huge. Um, but yeah, I've, I've, I have not played Dark Souls. I feel like I should. Ooh. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, we don't yeah, know what this one is. Yeah, let's nope, find out what's in here. Yet. Uh, Peter is asking, uh, Abby, what's your favorite game that you've played so far? Oh, oh, that's hard. Um, I mean, I don't, I keep thinking about Bioshock. And so like, that is fair. like, yeah. I don't know if it's my favorite, but that was like, that that's was the, the one first that one. With you the most? Yeah. I want to keep playing it more than all the other games. Though I did like Portal a lot more than I thought I would. Ow, excuse mm -hmm. me. Don't do that, please. Um, so, ooh. Bottle of nectar. Um, Bottle of nectar. Um, take that yeah. up. Yeah. So, uh, go ahead and open your, open the, the, the article on it, maybe. Oh, oh. Um. Where'd it go? Uh, go to, maybe, art, go to artifacts and then scroll through until you find it. Oh, that was right. Nectar. There it is. Drink of the Gods is one of the underworld's most sought-after delicacies, and truly perhaps one of the only sources of genuine lightness here within this realm. Nice. 
Uh, so I'll I'll just give you a freebie on that one. Nectar is uh, an item that you can give to uh, NPCs to like develop a re- like increase relationship with them. Mm. Um, so like as you give the nectar to, to different NPCs, they eventually like you further your story with them. You eventually can unlock items that they give you. Um, so Ooh, that's scary boss. I'm gonna be on the lookout for. Hmm, interesting. Um, uh, Peter is responding to uh, Dark Souls is a rite of passage. You and me. Uh, Peter is that's re- right. Is responding I hate these guys. to uh, your comments on on Bioshock that that story is a uh, a memorable story. It is. It's it. The atmosphere of Bioshock sticks with you. The narrative of Bioshock sticks with you. Oh, wow. Um, like, there's just so much that sticks to that. Um, so, to th- Robbie, I see your question. I will get to you in just ow, a second. Because uh, we we do actually have an answer to that. Um, as I'm just talking over Abby as she's just ah, m- no. wrecking face over no. here. <laughs> um, Fuz is saying, uh, you should put up a donation incentive for a nice cause for Michael to play Dark Souls. <laughs> Robbie said, where do I pay? Ha, ha, um, ha, 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 so, ha. so there's um they're saying uh that we should oh. uh, do a uh, a donation incentive that if people give to a donation I'll I'll play Dark Souls. Uh that yeah, could uh we we could we could talk about that. We'll talk about that in our our, our marketing meeting. Uh and then Robbie's asking if we've given more thought to more streams in the future. We have actually hey, hey. um so uh, we have a bunch of people here, which is good. A lot of people will hear this. Um, what we're planning on doing is actually we're going to, first of all, uh, maybe Abby can pick a charity. Yeah. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we will, we will talk about that. Give that some thought. See, uh, see, see where that falls. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to bump our Monday stream a little bit later. Uh, so instead of doing uh one thirty to, or sorry, 3.30 to 5, I'm in a different time zone. Instead of doing 3.30 to 5, we're going to do 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern time. Um, and that's going to continue to be that we're playing a new game every week. Abby's going to jump into something, like just discovering new games along the way. Uh, and then we're also going to start streaming on Thursdays as well. Uh, and on Thursdays, we're going to grab a game and go through the whole thing. Play through the uh, game. So I think the first one we're going to do for that is going to be Bioshock. Yep. Yep. Um, so I think that's starting next week. Next week, um, yes. So starting next week, we're going to be doing two streams a week, uh, sort of ramping up as we as we uh, build our, build up on the platform. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully, hopefully going later, we'll more people will be able to join us. Um, uh, and I'm I'm super super psyched. I wasn't in for the first uh, the the first stream of Bioshock. Um, oh, wow. Nice. Uh, do you have it? So doom is actually really, really good early game. Um, because it just, it deals a ton of damage. And if you get, get other boons that stack that, this is a big damage. So I'll probably take that one. Yeah. Uh, doom, doom is really, really good. I do also really like his, his blade rift throw. Is a, is a great one for the throw because you throw it and it just sort of like spins in the air and attacks attack attacks anything. Uh, and Robbie says, uh, I guess starting later on Monday gives me and Foos more watch time when we're done. That was that was that was part of the thought. Um, we love having you guys in chat. So um, move, moving a little later gives you guys more uh, more time to join us. And then also like uh, for people in the states, uh, you know, more likely they'll be off work and can and can drop by and say hi. As my voice cracks for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be going through Bioshock. Um super psyched. I love that game so much. Um Oh my gosh. Such a good game. Dionysus! Oh Dionysus! Yay! Awesome development. Um <clears throat> Bioshock rules. Yes, it does. I'm so excited. I've been thinking about Bioshock ever since I played it. And people ask it, me, when are you mm-hmm. playing Bioshock again? Well, now you yep. know. Next Thursday, yep. 4 p.m. Eastern. Next Thursday. We will, we will pick up where we left off and keep going. Uh, it just... 
like irrational games. Was it was it irrational? That wasn't irrational. That was. For a second. I am blanking on the game developer for for Bioshock. I'm a bad gamer. What are um, encounters? Oh, the dangerous kind underworld. Uh, encounters is each individual like room is considered an encounter. Oh, oh it was irrational games. I wasn't I wasn't wrong. Um, with 2K, yeah. Okay, great. Um, irrational did such a good job. Ken Levine, yeah. Uh, such a good job building the atmosphere of Bioshock. Like it's still super memorable. Um. And it's still one of the most unique atmospheres that we've mm. gone to. Um, all right. Uh, my health is pretty low. I mean, it's gonna go up by yeah. thirty percent, I think. But yeah, give it give it a shot. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. We love to give things a shot here. I'm for it. Oh, nice. Right. Uh, Foos Foos says that he ha happens to call one of the Bioshock devs a friend of his. That's amazing. Oh. That's super cool. Um. Oh, these guys are, are fairly oh. easy to deal with most of the time. Oh, I um, should find the stack, if there's a stack. She was a fan of the first game, applied to work in assist as assistant producer on Bioshock Infinite. Ooh. <clears throat> Bioshock Infinite's amazing. That's awesome. Uh, Peter in YouTube chat uh, says, uh, that game is actually like watching a movie and seeing a stream is like watching a movie with commentators. Nice. Oh, these they did, yeah. creeps. Those, those little jerks. I hate you. Boy, they're you. really... Uh, I hate you. I'm gonna die. <laughs> no. They really uh, held up in oh. that corner there, didn't they? Oh, oh. I hate you. Die. <laughs> I was so expecting. <laughs> nice job. <sighs> did they blow themselves up? Can they do that? Does, um, the, does this explosions hurt them? I don't know. I don't think it does. But it might. All right, I'm, I, I'm gonna I usually, go here. Probably a good idea. I was never paying it paying enough attention to see if they actually damage themselves with their own weapons. I was more concerned with not dying in the middle of all the chaos. Yeah. This. Oh yeah. Oh 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 oh. No. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. E oh. E uh uh. Ah uh. ah. <coughs> Uh, huh. Nicely uh. done. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Abby is hanging on a razor's edge of health here. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Where are you? Oh. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, ha, There's always that one last little jerk that just hides in a corner somewhere. I feel like I forget to breathe with every level that I do, so I just gotta take a deep breath after it. Yep. Just All right. breathe I in, breathe guys. out. You got it. These guys suck. You suck. And I hate you. Um. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Don't forget about your call. You do have that available to you. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Are these guys, like, disappearing? Like, teleporting themselves? Uh, Ugh. No, that's just when they die. Uh, okay. So there is an. Get you, jerk. There's a teleporting. Jerk. Later in the jerk. Game. Phew. Nice. Powering through. Doom. 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 I would. I would. I would do that one. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's. Because I the forget early to levels, do the call the... half the time anyway. So. Right. And in the early levels, that's the quickest way to increase your damage output. Hmm. We don't know hammer. what this always one means. Always go hammer. Oh, okay. That's just money. Oh. That's just money. Oh, oh, you oh, always okay. go gotcha. with hammer if you have the option for the hammer. There, there's, there's a pro tip for you. If the hammer okay. is out there, always go for it. Oh. oh boy. Oh, this is where I died stay last alive. time. This is the stay yep. alive one. Yep. Did my dad this send the... this? Yep. Oh. oh. Hades is is giving you a hard time. If hammer, go hammer. 
uh, will will Thursdays be Abby mostly Abby playing completed oh, games, or will other in. three division people join as well? Um, it might be other other three division people as well. Um, uh, I will definitely probably drop on at some point. I'm sure we will we will be uh, probably revisiting Borderlands two at some point because uh, that's a fun one. No, box um, down, box down. But I don't know, we, we, we've talked about, we have it three division. This is a, a fun thing for you guys. Bring the level to the level designers to play indie games. Ooh, that would be fun. Um, <laughs> nice, you made it through. Um, we've talked, we have a thing at, at three division uh, we do called Bean Jam every week. Uh, that is a, a company wide, we all get on and play uh, some video game together. So usually we jump between um different times of game we've been playing a lot of halo infinite lately because that's just easy to get infinite infinite yeah it's the new one um uh we get to jump in and out easily um ooh, new items world splitter uh it won't uh uh that that does that will disrupt your out that's a good one i will tell you that will disrupt your current uh like uh. muscle memory because rather than the one, two, three, you'll just have one big attack all the oh, time. Oh, oh, gotcha. So that it, it's a good one, uh, but it will disrupt your muscle memory a little okay. bit. Okay. Um, the dash note, or the, uh, that's a pretty good one, actually. Okay. Um, so just remember to use your dash. Um, that's a lot of fun. Yeah, um, I would... Uh, that hoarding slash is also really good if you don't buy anything. Like, if you don't buy anything and you build up a lot of money over the course of a run, it can really increase your damage output. Uh, but it's we're early enough that it's not really going to do much of a difference. Okay, cool. Um, Robbie and Foos are, are excited about um, uh, our, our Bean Jam. It's it's a ton of fun. Um, and it is, it's a, it is a lot of great team building. Uh, Foos says, reminds me of playing Unreal Tournament in the IT classroom and off hours. I'm old. Uh, Unreal Tournament was actually just slightly before before my time, uh, before I was playing a lot of video games. Um, but I, I I have played a a bit of it backlogged after after a few years. Wait, what's um, this gift part? So that's what you do with the the nectar. Um, so you can gift the nectar to different NPCs. There are a bunch of NPCs back at the back at Hades. Um, oh. Back at Hayes' house as well, that you can gift item, gift nectar to. Uh, it strengthens strengthens your relationship with them. It opens up. Can you um, give it to service? Side quest. Yeah. Oh. Um, Doggo. I mean, obviously, I gotta yeah. save it for. Yeah. For save it for Cerberus. Yeah. You can give it to Cerberus. You can give it to uh, everyone. And at a certain point, once you um, once you give people enough uh, nectar. Oh, okay. H hang on for that. We'll finish this explanation. Answer okay. chat, and then we'll go in there. Yeah. Because that's big. Um, yeah. At a certain point, once you give people enough nectar, um, th you you'll unlock uh, bonuses from them, which is super helpful. Um, Bushida Brown says Unreal Tournament was one of my first, one of my favorite MPS or FPS multiplayer games. And then Foos was talking about how Unreal Tournament opened the door to internet gaming matches. It kind of did. It was like one of the first ones that made like online multiplayer viable um especially in the early in the early days uh of like where the internet was just sort of becoming a thing where like gaming online was reasonable um so and there have been a lot of people that just like a lot of games it felt like for a little while there were just sort of copying unreal tournament so that this is your first like true boss fight cool. So uh let's uh run in and uh run in and see let's see how we fare. Just go for it. Uh Robbie Wolf says he thinks it was RuneScape. Uh it opened up to online gaming. Who nice. are you? Megar oh First of the Furies. Uh Okay. Don't you have someplace else to be? Your father sent me. Paul and I'd rather be on your bad side than his. Now you can turn back like a good little man. 
or I can send you home the painful way. What will it be? The painful way. I'll have to go with the painful way. Yeah. That's there what we I go. Said. First of the Furies. Have fun. Good oh, luck. Okay. Ah, she hurts. Recommendation for early, like the first time you play through, like fight her, just sort of dodge around and get a pattern recognition for her different ah. attacks. Uh, is is really really helpful because she has like all of the bosses here have signals for what they're about to do uh. for for where they're going, and you can start to learn to recognize. Oh, that. I'm just I don't... dying here. She's she's rough the first time you first time you encounter her. Uh, Robbie Wolf is asking if I've heard of a game called The Witness. I've heard of it. Uh, I have not. I don't. Let me look it up real quick. Ow! Let's see if it rings a bell. No. Whoa. Yes, I have seen this. Um, oh, shoot. Oh, I might shoot. Actually have, I might actually have that on. Um, uh, that might, I might actually have this one on Epic Games. Because it was one of the ones like no. does all uh. the like giving away games for free. Yeah, there you go. Okay. You did you did really well like the, for the first time fighting uh first time fighting Meg. Which by the way, uh for our our people who are over on YouTube, uh if you're watching on YouTube and haven't liked the video, uh go ahead and give us a like like spike such as it is for uh first time getting to Meg. Uh that's a pretty good distance for your first like your first ever playthrough and that actually like perfectly coincides with uh three o'clock uh yeah uh robbie said i enjoyed playing it myself if you're looking for a game to play i might have to check it out um i'll have to see if i have that one on epic games uh i love a good puzzle game uh and i'm also really like a big fan of a couple like really good walking simulators um like i had i played um the Vanishing of Ethan Carter, which was really, really fun. Uh, such a good game. Uh, and Foos is providing encouragement with, uh, this game is rough, Abby. It is. Uh, <laughs> it's a whole it's lot of button design. mashing. All right, all it's right. It's a whole lot of button, button mashing, and it is brutal by design. I'll, pro I'll probably keep on playing this, though. Like, yeah, yeah. you should, you should. This um, is the what, like one of the only ones where I actually like want to keep going and like continuing i can see how this one is like addictive <laughs> yeah it is like it's there's a drive to play it um i don't have to like, think oh, one more run. too hard except right. when i'm choosing what uh power ups right. to get okay wait i'm gonna give yeah. my gift to it's like dark souls model <laughs> nice yay cool. good boy Uh, <laughs> uh, Toshina Brown says, "Yeah, like the Dark, the Dark Souls model, prepare to die." Yes. Oh yeah, there you go. So, uh, actually, run real quick in the next room, and we'll we'll look at those items. Um, and then Robbie Wolf says, "I hear a revisit of this game coming in a couple weeks after some more practice." I hear, I hear you might be right on that one. Hey. Yeah, good. <laughs> nice. Uh, so run into the room where you pick your weapons. Oh, the weapon quick. room. Okay, that was like. Yeah, and we'll just we'll we'll take a look at this before um, we wait, before we call to it Dad. for today. Yep. Something something. You're a failure. Thanks, Dad. Yep. Appreciate it. Pretty much. Ooh. Hades has. Oh, there you go. Run around in here for a little bit. <laughs> Hades that? has some of the most brutal. Uh, like brutal put downs. It's like, it's it's rough. I um, just wanted to say, don't bother picking up my room today. So, Deuce is a fun character. Thank you for all your hard work. A little chef! Oh my gosh, it has yep. a little chef hat. Some of some of the uh, some of the upgrades you can get for the for the um mansion, build out the kitchen. And give him like a grill and different things he Aww. can be cooking. It's really fun. That's I want to give my little chef a grill. Yep. Ooh, treats. Um, cool. Yep, that one's good. So you can trade uh, different materials for other other materials if you need them specifically. Um, oh wait, so yeah. These I have more. Um, yep. 
Um, awesome. So as we're, we're winding down a little bit, uh, we're going to take Abby into the next room and look at the spiked collar she just got. Yes. Um, but um, thank you guys for, for joining us. It's been good having you on. Um, and remember that next week will be uh, 30 minutes later. So uh, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah. So translate that to wherever in the world you are. Um, and we will be running for two hours instead of just 90 minutes, um, which I think will be really, really fun. And then starting next week, we will also be playing on Thursdays, uh, which I am super excited for. Mondays and Thursdays. Uh, Mondays and Thursdays. And then uh, as we as we gain traction on on the platform, we'll start maybe building up to some more more streams. I'm so excited! Today uh, went by so quickly. It did. That's the other. That's the thing about this game is like you play. I guess like I said at the beginning of the game, you play for hours, and then realize, oh, I have been here all day playing this game. It's a time eater. Um, run up to the that chamber that's glowing there, the little glass glass box thing. Oh oh oh. Inspect. Boom. Yay! So, um, and for every every little indicator there, there's an item from an NPC you can pick up. Cool. Uh, awesome. Flambeer. Uh, no, I have not. So, uh, Fuz is asking if I've heard of Flambeer. I have not, which I feel like it's something I should have. Uh, uh, Ramy and JW. I have not. Uh, enlighten me. Please do. Um, we'll, we'll we'll wait to get a response on foos from this one before we, before we sign off. <clears throat> Video games are such a, such a fun way to spend time. All right. Um, uh, are they are they streamers on Twitch? Uh. Uh, Ramy and Jay just dro dropped out of the Dutch game. Oh, gotcha. Uh, the, so Ramy and JW dropped out of Dutch Game Design Academy with the reason that they wouldn't make it. Um, they collabed and started indie development. That sounds fun. Uh, ah, I see it. Gotcha. Ah, so you spelled it phonetically. Gotcha. Um, that looks uh, multiple mobile games, and then they made Nuclear Throne. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, you ran back in the other room. Oh, that looks like a bullet hell nightmare. That looks like a lot of fun. <coughs> um, I will have to check that out. Awesome. Well, um, thank you guys for dropping in as Abby just puts the hurt on this poor little skeleton. I will He's definitely okay. check out, check them out. Um, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, thank we you. will see you all uh, next week uh, uh, for two hours. Woo! This is going to be fun. I'm crazy looking forward to this. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, and that is it from us today. Good to see you guys.